Good morning, guys. I'm Danielle Wolfington. I'm Mariah Chambliss. And today we're going to be talking about understanding the spread of germs. Hey, don't we have a PowerPoint about germs? Yes, we do. If you have not done so already, at the end of this video, please go check out our PowerPoint. Those germs are the little organisms that make you sick, right? Yes, they can, but remember, not all germs are bad. Today we're going to be talking about two, viral and bacterial. Think of the common cold. Okay, so the common cold, what type of germ is that? The common cold is a viral. That means it's not alive and it needs a host to live. Host like you're hosting a talent <laughs> show because I am an awesome singer. No, a host is a living organism like you or me. Okay, so how does one spread this germ? There are several ways germs can be spread, but today we're gonna to talk about two, person to person and indirect. Awesome, so let's talk about person to person. Okay, Mariah, can you think of some ways germs can spread <coughs> person to person? Um, I don't know, can you give me an example first? Uh, well, for starters, not covering your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Okay, so making sure you wash your hands and covering your mouth when you sneeze and cough, <laughs> and making sure you keep a social distance when around sick people, right? That's right. Now, let's talk about germ spreading indirect contact. All right, so what's indirect contact and how do you spread it? Indirect contact spreads germs to a person through an object that multiple people have touched. Germs can remain on an object after an infected person has touched that object for a long time. Then, when an uninfected person comes in and touches that object and touches their face, they become infected. Mm. What are some items that you can think of that are commonly touched? Okay, so let's say a pen when you're thinking and you put it in your mouth and then you let your buddy borrow it. Yes, exactly. Uh, remind me not to borrow pens from you anymore. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, let's see, <laughs> elevator buttons, uh, stairwells, school supplies, and maybe doorknobs are all ways that we could spread germs indirectly. Exactly. So let's talk about some ways to prevent germs. Okay, so we can make sure that we wash our hands frequently and at least for 20 seconds. And maybe use the inside of our elbow to cough and sneeze and keeping our social distance away from sick people. Exactly. So uh, if you haven't done so, at the end of the PowerPoint presentation, there's a video link on how to properly wash your hands. Please go check that out. Wait, we haven't talked about vaccines yet. Aren't there vaccines against some of these diseases? Yes, there are, but not all diseases have vaccines. And why not? The reason we do not have a vaccine for every disease is several diseases have multiple strands and there's no way for a vaccine to be effective against all strands. Pretend all these strands, all these grains of rice are a strand of the flu. Ah, uh, okay, I get it. So not every grain of rice is exactly the same. So scientists have to choose the strand that they think will be most effective. Exactly. So guys, if you have not done so already, there is a link at the end of the PowerPoint presentation from Mythbusters. It shows the spread of germs. It's actually very similar to the activity that Woody wanted to do with you in person, but COVID had other plans. All right, thanks guys. Y'all have a good day. Be safe.